Welcome back to another video on our Dream of the Woods. Uh, on today's agenda is to continue to work on the sawmill cover and I ran out of sheeting boards for the roof and so I put some lodgepole pine on this morning. Um, I have no idea whether that's going to be enough logs to do the remainder but uh, that'll be a good start. It, most of those have nice straight grain so if you see the crack going down there nice and straight but this log in particular it's got a twist that goes around you can see the cracks going in at an angle and it does it all the way down the log there so I've seen when you're cutting firewood I see seen logs like that quite a bit but not so much on this property um, I know it has to do with the wind and the way it'll twist that log as it grows but um, big question is whether that's going to affect the quality of the lumber. So this log has a fairly sizable defect or yeah I guess defect we'd call that on that side I, I could see it so um, we'll have to cut pretty heavy to get through that but still be able to get some good boards out of this log see how deep we have to go. So that first slice wasn't too bad. Uh, I took that out. I still have a little bit of a punky spot there, but I'm gonna call that good. This is going up on the roof here and doesn't have to be perfect, so. All right, so that one log yielded seven one by seven by 18 uh, inch boards. And so that's enough to do two rungs or two links of the shed. Um, so pretty good, 14 inches out of six. So. I don't know, keep going. So here's the twisty log. You see all those grains twisting, corkscrewing down through this log. So I'm curious to see how it comes out. But first, we have some VIPs. So yeah, look who's here. Hey, everyone. 
My name's uh, my name's Joey. I'm Ashley, uh, Greg's daughter. Yeah. And you guys are newlyweds. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Son-in-laws coming down for the first time. Yeah. We're <laughs> checking out checking out the progress here, and uh, and I've been looking forward to to working on helping out for for a while. Ever since I've seen the start of the channel so yeah yeah so i'm excited we've been watching it back in nevada we're from reno so it's nice to make the trip up here yeah yeah, yeah excited to have you and see one extra little thing we got to take a look at this man bun you know yeah. there we go there it is yeah, nice there it is. has a man yeah. bun <laughs> Very nice and tied up. You have plenty of practice hours, so we'll do a tutorial on that later. <laughs> So here's the that twisted log into a cant and you can kind of tell some swirly twist to it um, but in general without the blue in there it'd be hard to tell that this is a, a twisty log um, kind of see the crack there but um, I'm sure if you were gonna try to make some kind of furniture out of it, it would not cooperate very well. So, but it's gonna work good for our purposes. It's about seven and a half inches wide and we should be able to get seven one inch boards out of this. So this will be enough for two courses of sheeting. So get to it. So that's the yield out of the twisty log. Looks like fine lumber to me. And have enough for two full courses there. One inch material. Pretty nice. There you can see those striations coming across there at an angle. <laughs> 